expose evil here like share subscribe today i'm doing a video to prove that there are two governments one created by the people in 1777 and one created by congress unconstitutionally in the act of 1871 in the year 1871 also so this is downs versus bidwell supreme court of the united states 182 us 244 1901 that's the year now this is the Lexus Nexus version of this case with lawyer's head notes. I find lawyer's head notes very, very helpful when you're looking for information on these cases. So I'm gonna go down and skip. So on page 59, skip for you guys, make it quicker. So here we go. It's page 159 on the PDF. I believe it's this is page 380 in the case. If I'm not mistaken, it should be 380. If not, it's page 823. But right here, found the idea prevails with some. Indeed, it found expression in arguments at the bar that we have in this country sustainable, substantially and practically two national governments: one to be maintained under the Constitution, that's the 1777 one, with all its restrictions. The other to be maintained by Congress outside and independently of the that instrument by exercising such powers as other nations of the earth are accustomed to exercise. Do you have it? Now, what government do you think just elected a president? Right? Now, we can understand from the, the case I've just shown you what happened here in Stuttenberg versus Hennig, Supreme Court of the United States, 129. U.S. 141, 1889. Now, I got this from, you know, the law library. This is a Lexus Nexus version with lawyer's head notes. I got this case in 2016. It's been cautioned because sometimes people, sometimes people use the case in the wrong, you know, in the wrong way, and you know, the Lexus Nexus system. Marks down every time the cases are used, and it gives you a caution to let you know that this case has been used in the wrong way to show you how not to use it. So, if it was not a valid case, it would have a red stop sign there. So, this case is valid to this day. Now, in this case, I didn't get the whole case for somehow they're blocking the information at the law library also. This case, you know, you can find it online. It originally says that Congress doesn't have power extending outside of the District of Columbia, which is 10 square miles. So Congress cannot do anything outside of the District of Columbia. That's what this case said. But that part is ripped out. But luckily, this lawyer's head notes edition gave the same, it said the same thing in head note too. It says Congress has expressed power to exercise exclusive legislation in all cases whatsoever over the District of Columbia, thus possessing the combined powers of a general and of a state government in all cases where legislation is possible, but as the repository of the legislative power of the United States. Congress, in creating the District of Columbia, a body corporate corporation for Municipal purposes, corporation purposes, can only authorize it to exercise municipal powers. Now, municipal means corporation. It can only operate on corporations. Now, this is the big difference between, I don't know if you heard about being a person and a man or a natural person and an artificial person. This is the difference right here. We're not in this corporation unless you think you're a person. If you call yourself a person, then you become the corporate entity. And you are, you know, you're binded by the rules of this corporation called the District of Columbia, a.k.a. the United States.